kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ohio State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Rice's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. That makes it second and six. Make the stop at the 32 yard line. He scrambled. Bumble, loose ball. Scoops up the loose ball. They'll bring him down at the 47. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. High five. High five. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and two. He's taken down at the 44. around the 34-yard line. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Well, a man down, and the trainer's on their way out to have a look. And this play is number eight on the drive. ground left side runs it left for a decent game that's another first down Brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in their ability to pick up first downs just pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory they bring him down in the backfield good discipline here by the defense stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes that moved them back Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Owls had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 15. That's good for a Quick to an open man, he dropped it. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Rice could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's 
tackled right around the 26-yard line. clicking on that last drive and their execution was lacking that makes it fourth and inches and he jumped out of bounds at the 43 the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play Rice has a three-point lead. They run straight, brought down quickly. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Strike complete. Tackle made at about the 41. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. They hand it off again. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Two times, two times. He might have a chance. And down he goes at about the 27 yard line. Brought down around the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and ten. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Rice has got a three-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Rice holds a field goal lead. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he tackles him hard at the 12. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The Owls saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Taken down at the 22. I'll give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second and 13 coming up here. 
Ball on their own 22. They come out in a five-wide set. Completes it across the middle. He's brought down in the open field. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he tries to buy some time. Now he's going to run and watch out. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They gotta execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Rice with a six-point lead. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. And he hits him hard at the 46. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And they push him out right around the 24-yard line. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And now the ball is loose. First down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 80-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 13-0. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 20-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. throws it away great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled so it's second and ten ball on their own 20 he unloads it the defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football everything worked perfectly they just dropped the football boy the offense caught a break there Caught 
spot with room to work. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Gets out to around the 38. A gain of eight on the carry. He's on the run. Gets out to around the 48. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless. From midfield, it's second down. He's tackled at the 50. Gonna try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 38. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work. Slides down. That'll make it second and four. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the head. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Mike five, Mike five. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. and they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Kicks away, and it's good! They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He kicks it off, and he got all 
follow that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He gets to about the 41-yard line. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 16 to nothing, Rice. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, Number David, 15, thanks guys. Just Reese about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Tackle around the 24-yard line. He wants it all going long. Oh boy, almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Tackled at the 49. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He heaves it deep. He got it. Touchdown, Owls. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. That's good for the That'll make it second and seven. Up 
Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Number 90 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Ohio State's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That makes it third and three. Brought down at the 44. Game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. Number four makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's level at the 24. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. First down. He's hit and taken down. Tenth play of the drive. Taken down at the three. Number 12 with the tackle at the three yard line. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. Mark Farr, Mark Farr. Check, 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 check. He's under pressure. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. 
The Owl staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. He's at the 40. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 22. He goes out of bounds around the 19-yard line. on the run decides to slide big play and it's first and goal the stop at the six. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six-yard line. Touchdown, Ohio State. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Rice's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into a position and being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. Kill, kill. Two. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That brings him second and one. in daylight. He makes his way to about the 48. Makes it out to about the 43. So at the end of the third quarter, the Owls lead 30-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. First 
They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From the 21-yard line, it's third down. Quick out to his receiver. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. It's up, and it is good. Rice is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. And he is drilled at the 50. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Five wide. And a quick throw. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Caught in a big hit. He's stopped in his tracks. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another pitch. They bring him down in the backfield. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Caught it and tackled. He didn't make it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Watch 
handoff, and he's met immediately. the left for a nice game. That makes it third, and third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. Rice with a commanding lead. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go. Rice's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happier. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.